Mackey. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, That's so intricate. I eat maki fairly often. Me and my fiance love Japanese food, but I don't make a lot. Great maki wraps a delicate balance of flavors into a roll that also delights the eyes. We want your maki customized to reflect your personality. Oh, wow. Your roll must be in the urumaki style, which means it's rolled inside out with the rice on the outside. At least one of your fillings must be a tempura element. And it must also have a thinly sliced ingredient of your choice as a topping. Beyond those parameters, the sky is the limit. There are so many different techniques involved in this dish. What could possibly go wrong? Please go to your stations now. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. You're going to kill it. The thing I lack in this challenge is the hands-on experience of making a maki roll. But I will expend every ounce of energy that I've got until I don't have any more to give. The pantry is stocked with Japanese ingredients that will ignite your creativity. And make sure you choose well, because at the end of this challenge, three cooks will earn immunity and watch the final round safe in the gallery. Oh. And you have 25 minutes. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. okay. Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. Your time starts now. Let's go, let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Anybody got eyes on asparagus? Lime, green onions, black vinegar. Got it. <laughs> 25 minutes to make something I haven't made in probably 15 years. It's going to be incredibly hard. Anyone seen any herbs or chives? Chives over here, babe. Thank you, Mama. I am making a surf and turf maki. Last week, I did a play on surf and turf, and it missed the mark. So I want a bit of redemption. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Oh. Got it. This requires a tremendous amount of time management. Everything has to be done in the right sequence. Well, the first thing I would do was, of course, make the rice. Rice is absolutely imperative. If I mess that up, it doesn't matter about the rest of the components. I'm doing a scallop tempura with yellowtail tuna on top, a lot of bright flavors, maybe a little mango on top as well. This one's for my wife, thick and citrus. I know that she loves citrus, so I'm trying to embrace her on this one. I left my wife, my two little girls, to be here. I need to make sure that this is all worth it. I'm here to win. Everyone has their rice on. There you go. What's going to resonate with me here are ingredients that are fresh, that are bright, are clean, to have good crunch to them. I got some crispy leeks going on there just for a little bit of a topper. Since the pandemic started, fish and chips was the first meal that my wife Jennifer and I had out of the house. So the first thing that pops into my mind is make a mackie out of fish and chips. The fish and chips mackie is tempura crab and asparagus with a Japanese coleslaw inside the mackie. I'm really doing it for Jennifer. Every time I'm here, I miss her. Carrot. April Lee, check your rice. Thank you, Jer. April Lee. Hey, Chef Alvin. So how are you going to impress us today? You know what? I'm doing this deli style. We eat a lot of deli sandwiches at my yes. house. When my sons and husband are in construction, so always making a sandwich. I've never had deli sushi before. Here you go. I'm going to do on the outside some avocados, some deli meats. Now remember, I want to see your knife skill, OK? So I hope I'm not just going to see that thin pieces of meat wrapped around it, OK? All right. Good luck. Thank you. During the pandemic, I've just been being really creative with stuff that I do have in my pantry. And we have made some really far out there sushi rolls. I mean, it's a deli roll. It's weird. I love it. 15 minutes. You only have 15 minutes left for that perfect personalized Mackey. What a mess I got going here. The clock is killer today. One of the key elements in this maki for me is going to be the tempura. The batter has to be golden brown, crisp, but light and delicate and flaky. I'm making a tuna ginger poke roll with asparagus deep fried in tempura. I'm also going to put some, um, oh my god, I can't think right now. And I'm going to put a, a, a bed of avocado over top. I just want to get it done. Let's fuck. Jen looks frazzled right now. Jen is all over the place. Oh my god, there's way too much going on here. I can feel my heart in my throat. Time is going by so fast. I can't find sesame oil anywhere. 
fuck. This is no joke. Hey, Jen, how are you? Oh, I'm a little frazzled, but I'm gonna get it done. How are you going to personalize this mac? Um, I really like a poke bowl, so I decided to take some fresh red tuna and marinate it in some soy sauce, togarashi, ginger, and a little bit of sesame oil. Just focus on each task. You have what it takes, you know that, right? Damn right I do. Ten minutes! You have but ten minutes left! This is insane. I'm making a vegetarian sushi using miso grilled eggplants, jinoki mushroom, daikon, and leeks. This is something that's really near and dear to my heart. I cook most often for my fiance. She loves eating vegetarian style. I met my fiance in pharmacy school, and we finally were engaged about six months ago. She has been unbelievably supportive of my dream to open my own bakery. So my motivation to win comes from her. Yeah, Chris. Well done, buddy. Each component I bang out has to be right on the dot because there's no time to go back. Doing pretty good. Less than 10 minutes, guys. You guys got to hustle. Obviously quintessential for any sushi roll. Can't go without sushi rice. The rice is actually the most important part. If it's too wet, it'll fall apart, become inedible. I watch the clock quite carefully to know when the rice should be done. But the pot has stopped steaming, so I'm thinking the rice is done. Take the lid off. It's not done. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kind of looks like soup. That was a mistake. I have no time to start over. I have to try and salvage this. My thought process is, as it cools, it will absorb more water. It will become more tender. Barry, that's not You're your station. Wrong station, Barry. <laughs> Come on, Barry. Hey, Rissa, I see a lot of meat in that pan right now. So what are you going to do? I'm doing a surf and turf mac eat. OK. Well, I've got beautiful shrimp tempura. OK. I have wagyu here. OK, how is this going to make up for your mistake last week? I'm going to show you much more refinement. Quality. You got it, Jeff. Not quantity. Absolutely. Right. Woo! Three minutes, you only have three more minutes left. Yeah, hey, let's go, guys. Oh, god, where's my mat? The real trick is the last step, laying out the rice and rolling. And remember, this is a backwards, upside-down maki roll, which means the rice is on the outside. My rice still has a little bit of excess moisture, so I try putting a second nori sheet on the other side. That way, when you roll it up, that will help keep it together. The airy roll the wrong way. One! Minute! You only have one more minute left. Get the toppings on. Go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's push. Come on. Use the one minute. Andy, you got to start plating. You got to start plating. Nice, Jen. Thank you. 30 seconds. Get those maki onto a plate. Do this. Come on, guys. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Trim that down, Marissa. That's going to be big. 10, Ten nine, eight, eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, Two, one, heads up! Good job, guys. Oh my God. Wow, good for you. That was borderline cruel. Oh, I am sweating. I kind of feel like I'm gonna pass out, but I am so unbelievably proud that I got an entire Mackey roll on the plate in 25 minutes. They brought me back for a damn good reason. Hi, Jen. Hi, Chef Alvin. So I made a ginger soy tuna roll, and I put some crispy asparagus tempura just for a little bit of crunch. Okay, the first test you do for a maki, make sure it doesn't fall apart. Hold it like this and turn. So obviously it's well constructed. Thank you. But taste, taste is... Taste is king. Mmm. I like it. <laughs> I think it's got nice flavor coming from the tuna. Thank you. It's well seasoned, maybe a little bit more filling. Okay. But other than that, the flavors are right, the texture is holding. This is definitely a Mackey to look forward to. Thank you so much. Andy, how are you? Wonderful, Chef, thank you. So, what did you make here? So I made a tempura scallop and topped that with tuna and mango. Wow, a lot of rice. A lot of rice.
It's good, not great. I love the bright, clean flavors. Unfortunately, your rice to ingredient ratio is a bit off. Fair. Keep pushing yourself. Thank you, Chef. Wow, Marissa. Chef Alvin. Looks interesting. Tell me what you made. So I prepared for you today a surf and turf mackie. We have a tempura shrimp on the inside, and on top you have wagyu hot sear. So I think the presentation, all the middle piece should be about the same size. Consistency is important. Well, tastes a lot better than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chef. The meat is very tender. I think the tempura is done nicely. Thank you, Chef. But get that tight wrapped and then every single piece would look nice. Taste is king, but looks is important. Thank you, chef. The meat was cooked perfectly. It packed the punch that I was hoping for. I'm feeling really, really good about that. Hey, the Barry. Hey, chef. Tell me about your mackie, please. This is fish and chips mackie. It's got tempura crab, tempura asparagus, and the chips are crispy leek. But it does look beautiful. Thank you, chef. But it doesn't meet the brief. The rice should be on the outside. I did two layers of nori. I'm not sure that, that still meets the brief. There was just a lot of residual moisture in the rice. I see. And so in order to take care of some of that, a second layer of nori on the outside. Let's see how it all tastes. It's a little on the dry side for me, but it presents really well. I think you turn this dish around as best you possibly could. I think that this isn't my best effort, but I still don't think that this is the worst dish on the, on the counter. April Lee. Chef Alvin. Deli Mackey. Deli Mackey, well, it's Executive Deli Mackey. Executive Deli Mackey, tell yes. me what's in it. On the outside, I've got smoked salmon, avocado, and a salami. On the inside, I have a little tempura asparagus. Well, interesting is what I would describe this as. Sure. You know, I'm a little bit disappointed because the flavors do not balance. Okay. You got very salty packaged meat on top. I like innovation, but you gotta put effort to create innovation. Sure. And I think you can give me that, can you? Definitely, Chef. Well, I hope so, or else you know what's gonna happen. Christopher, how are you? I'm good, thanks, Chef Claudio. So this is a vegetarian style sushi filled with a miso glazed eggplant, pickled daikon, and a tempura enoki mushroom. Wow, this looks great. Thank you, chef. The rice is a textbook, perfectly cooked. The filling is interesting, but could use a little more flavor. Your desserts are incredible, but your savory is really catching up. Thank you, chef. Definitely someone to keep an eye on in this kitchen. Thank you. Really great. I already have an idea for the seafood dish. My idea is like a crab sushi roll with a spicy mayo and soy sauce reduction. Okay. Um, I like the idea of using the jumbo lump crab because it's beautiful and it's already prepped. The sushi, I don't want anybody rolling it except for Jeremy. Okay. Cool. The way we played it, it could be white or black. I'm inspired by the white and black dress that I saw on the runway. I want those colors on the plate and I want that geometric design on the plate because it was just so gorgeous. I want people to own what they're doing and put themselves into it because it's that love and attention that's gonna win us this challenge. Okay, guys, next course is our seafood, the crab roll. Jeremy is a sushi expert, so he's pretty much in charge of the entire second course. How about your soy? Do you want that in a squeeze bottle as well? Yes, please. I'm feeling a lot of pressure. I need to execute it perfectly. Hi there, Jeremy. Can you just walk me through the dish that you're about to serve up next? It's a crab sushi roll with caviar and spicy mayo. I'm getting a sense that you're a little bit rattled. I don't have a sushi mat. Do you think that should have been taken into account before you did the menu? Yeah, probably. It's up there. Good luck. Serving table. I've never done this without a mat yeah, before. Sure. Why didn't we think of this first? Jeremy has managed to roll out his sushi without a mat, but it's a slow process. How many more rolls do I need to do? Three more. We don't have enough of the one with the nori on the outside. The vision for the sushi rolls is to have rice on the outside, nori strip on top, just like the white and black dress that I saw on the runway. You need more? How many more? One more, one more. Guys, guys, come on, one more. I literally rolled a sushi roll in like 20 seconds. 
Come on, we can do this. Come on, come on, come on. It's just a mad scramble. Grab him, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is looking good. So, on the red platter, they're serving up crab cakes with couscous sitting on some freshly made hummus. And from the blue team, they have made a crab sushi roll with spicy mayo. Bon appetit, everyone. Help yourselves. What do you think, Lainey? When I saw the blue team was serving sushi, I'm from Vancouver. You better impress me, because the world's best sushi, I think, is in Vancouver. It's really good. That sushi really captured the stripe of the dress and of, of, uh, of Kim's uh, aesthetic. I thought the red team, this couscous on top of the crab cake with the capers, very salty. It looks like a pile. And I prefer a little more finesse on a plate. You want to eat it with your eyes. A Japanese bento box. I know bento boxes in and out. This is a challenge for me. Simple, right? Not really. Way too simple. Oh, no. You are going to have to think outside the common bento box and make one of these. An ultra-modern bento box. I've never had a bento box in my life. Every component has been revolutionized and reinvented. This is my nightmare. OK, Barry. All right, Miranda. Here you go, Matt. I'm getting the oil on. Barry, I would just clean that rice till it runs clear. Equal parts rice to water? Yeah, two and two. Two and two? What would be your point of attack? Well, obviously, the rice. It has to be washed, getting rid of all the starches. Almost there. It's the foundation to any great sushi. Is yeah. it rinsed enough? Rinse it again, rinse it again. OK, fine, fine, fine. The rice goes on, you put your oil on so it starts to warm up, things that take a long time. And then you can start doing some of the more finer detail work. So let's break down this veg. Yeah. I couldn't have asked for a better teammate. Looking good, Barry. Nice job, buddy. I'm a workhorse. I can do things quickly. We need to chef and odds some bok choy, and that goes in there as well. And Trevor's attention to detail. This is my dream team. Beautiful. Nice. We need to sashimi the uh, salmon. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Trevor is very fast, and that's very important in the time challenge. Whereas Barry, he's a little bit more steady as she goes. It's got to be like paper thin, one smooth motion. I would prefer to, you know, take my time making this meal. Sit back and have a glass of wine. I'm going to leave this for you. OK, yeah. It's like working with my dad. <laughs> Where's my asparagus? Where'd I put it? Switch! Pressure is on. Soba noodle. Soba noodle. Where's my soba noodle? It's already Oh, it's already it. there. Is it frying? No. Oh, my god. I know, I know. It's not skin. I know I have to take the skin off the salmon here. I literally just don't have the time. Switch! It's all on you. Get the beef. Trevor is redoing the plating of the tempura. That's Trevor. Is it crispy enough? I have no choice, hon. One minute. You only have one minute left. Come on, one Come on, minute. Guys. You have one minute. You can make it crispy. Where's the spice for on top of the salmon? Just a light sprinkling. A light, light sprinkle, light, light just sprinkle. Just a light sprinkle. Absolutely insane here. Come on, we got this, Justine. We can take it home. God, I'm freaking shaking. Ten, nine, nine eight. Anything. Clean seven, it up. Clean it up. Six, Season, clean it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. <laughs> In any good sushi, the rice, it's always very important. But you want to know something? You got to bite. <laughs> Once it enters my mouth, it separates. So it's not sticking together. Slice on the fish, I think it's a nice replication. But that rice, that rice is good. Yeah. Everyone thinks because I'm from the East Coast that I'm constantly filleting fish. That's not the case. Beautiful snapper. So it's an incredible honor to see him do his craft right in front of us. The real secret lies in filleting that beautiful fish, ensuring that there is no flesh left on the bone. Oh, wow. wow. Then ever so delicately removing the skin and with expert precision slicing the sashimi. Each slice wafer wispy thin to the point where it's translucent. 
Watching him do those slices, I've tried to learn that technique on my own, so it's an honor to learn from him. Finally, that exquisite plate presentation. Amazing. Wow. wow. Thank you. Bravo. I think he's done that before. <laughs> Creating a dish like that can take years of experience. We're giving you just 15 minutes. Wow. <laughs> That's impossible. 15 minutes means nothing in the kitchen, nothing. Especially when you're under pressure, it goes by in a blink of an eye. I can't even do my hair in 15 minutes. <laughs> Japanese cooking is not my style, but breaking down the fish. I'm from Vancouver, I'm pretty good at that. In front of you are the tools and the beautiful fresh fish that you'll need to replicate Chef Kimura's Snapper Uzusukuri Platter. At the end of this first round, the quality and accuracy of your knife cuts will be judged by the master himself. Wow. The four cooks who do the best job will go straight to the gallery and escape cooking in the second round. I got this, I got this. Are you ready to wield your knives like a master? Yes, Chef! Your 15 minutes Starts now. Okay, let's do this thing. This is true craftsmanship. To be a sashimi chef, this is not just about speed. This is about precision and quality. You know, not simple. I actually spent some time in a local fish market in Halifax, filleting fish by the dozens. So I have to follow my instincts. Each of these home cooks is really concentrating on removing that first fillet. They want to make sure that there's no flesh left on the bone. Hatching the knife and the bone, meat between the... I just gotta cut through this bone. Medic! Taya has already cut herself. That's not a great start. I'm moving extremely fast. I really want to get up to the balcony but I'm having trouble removing the rest of the filet from the collar. So I start hacking at the bone. Not the fish filet, the bone. <laughs> May is moving through that fish very, very quickly. But Jeremy, Jeremy is moving at a very intense speed right now. Jeremy has got his filet off first. He's ready to start slicing. Five minutes have passed. You have 10 more minutes left to get those razor precision slices. Okay, beautiful cuts. It's very difficult to get those paper-thin, translucent slices of sashimi. Yes, it's all in one smooth action. My sashimi is not looking awesome. It's not cute. Every time I pull my blade through, it's falling apart. Watching Chef Kimura, he was nice and slow, so I need to cut my sashimi slowly and properly. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Everyone right now looks like they're on track, except one home cook. April Lee looks like she's behind everyone right now. She's gone back down to grab the other filet. I have damaged the first filet a little bit. Now this is gonna be a big setback. I'm extremely nervous. The clock is ticking away. I'm not sure that I can pull this off. Three minutes! You only have three more minutes left, come on! You need to be plating now. You know what I like about Jeremy? Like Chef Kamura, he looks at the fish, looking at the angles. He's already seeing the slices before he even slices it. I'm doing the traditional Japanese technique of cutting fish. You start cutting an angle, and to finish the cut, you make sure that your knife is at 90 degrees. What is going on? Wow. I want to show Chef Kamura that I can do it too. One minute, only one more minute. Get it on the plate. Now it's just trying to make it look prettier. Wow, Jeremy's already played it, and Andrew too. Wow. wow. He has lots of confidence. I'm so nervous about time that plating skills go out the window for me. My fingers are shaking. 30 seconds left, come on. I want to see perfect replication. Hope it's good enough. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands, hands up! up. Oh. <laughs> wow. I look around and I do notice some pretty nice plates. I see some really nice long cuts of fish that aren't as jagged like mine. But I know I'm no sushi master, so I'm proud that I'm presenting this dish.
looking at my dish, I just feel like it's a little bit sloppy. I know my chances for making up onto the gallery for this challenge are pretty slim. Hi, chefs. A little bit jagged. Yes. Very. Chef. It's nice. A little tighter. Look how thin that is. Very, very what beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, chef. Tay. Is it first time? First time, wow. yeah. It is really nice. Jagged pieces here. Yes, chef. A bit of inconsistency. So the most important thing is every slice is the same size. Andrew. Andrew. One of the wow. first to finish. Looks like paper. Yeah. Tried my best. Very good. Jeremy. Hey, chef. Oh, Jeremy. He's so fast. He's faster than anybody else. <laughs> I tried to use the technique where you finish the cut That's cut straight nice. down. Yes. Yes, chef. Excellent job. My food dream is to be at the top of the Winnipeg food scene. I learned to make sushi by myself. I taught myself that white apron would mean everything to me. Hello there. What's your name? I'm Jeremy. April Lee. What are you making today? Crispy skin duck breast on a bed of kaboka squash with a little bit of ginger. A shrimp tempura roll. It's pretty traditional, but I'm doing my own garnishes on it. Spicy mayo with lime zest, green onions, and bonito flakes. Tell me about yourself. What was your upbringing like? My parents are immigrants from the Philippines. They sacrificed a lot so that we could have what we have. My mom, I lost her to cancer. I have her tattooed on my arm, and I know that she would be proud watching me here today. And I'm done. Jeremy. Great textures, flavors, the precision of it. It was delicious, so it's a big yes from me. Yes, thank you, chef. It's up to me now, isn't it? You need me to say yes to get this apron. <laughs> I love what's on that plate. Yes! I hope you have some room on that arm for the Master Chef Canada tattoo. Yes! Welcome to the top 14. I won't let you down. Jeremy is taking four sushi-inspired dishes. He's got a lot of things to pull together there. Now, Jeremy's sushi boat has to be elevated. It can't be sushi that you get in a kiosk at a shopping mall. This has to be sushi that we've never seen before anywhere. I'm making sushi because sushi got me my apron, so I'm thinking sushi's gonna get me the title. Hi there, Jeremy. Hey, chef. So tell me, what you're doing right now with the papaya? This is the traditional way to make papaya salad. So you cut into it down to close to where the seeds are at, and then, you take a slicer and you do this. That's the way that it's traditionally made in uh, Southeast Asia. That's amazing. And then wow. you get all these little Whiskey uneven strands. cuts. Yeah. How are you planning to tie all of these four dishes together so they make the feeling of a one complete entree dish? They all have soy, ginger, and wasabi. They all play on those elements. Sounds like you've got a lot to get done. I'll leave you to it. Thank Thanks you, so much, Jeremy. When it comes to sushi rice in Japan, it is sacred. It is served at room temperature. I make my sushi rice and it has to get cold, so I put it in the blast chiller. He didn't have to put it in the blast chiller. He had plenty of time, put a cloth over it and let it cool. Sometimes you put it in the blast chiller, the rice gets dry and hard. 10 minutes, you have 10 minutes left. The rice, Jeremy. I leave my rice in the blast chiller too long. The rice froze a little. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna save this rice. His rice is frozen into His one rice. solid sheet. And now he's trying to defrost it in the oven. The sushi rice is no good, then your dish is no good. Jeremy is going to put the new spin on four sushi-inspired dishes. Jeremy is really running around. Look at the sweat coming from his face. He's got the speed, but where he sometimes lets himself down is the finesse and running out of time in terms of plating. One minute left, last minute. Get those finishing touches on your plate now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up! Great job, guys. Good job, Ed. Good job. I feel good. I didn't think I was going to get everything on the plate, but I pulled it off.
Jeremy, please bring up your dish. I made four different dishes. There is a deconstructed soft shell crab spider roll, and then a miso marinated baby octopus with mushrooms, a tuna crunch roll with wasabi mayo and crispy salmon skin, and then a ginger papaya salad. Well, you know, Jeremy, I was a little bit worried about the rice because you had it in the blast chiller and you had it in the oven. But you know something? The rice, to me, was perfect. I eat in sushi in some of the best restaurants in Asia. This is restaurant quality. Just absolutely creative and delicious. Thank you, Chef. Jeremy, this is a feast for one's eyes. And I know that you have been challenged at times with plating. You'd never know that looking at these four dishes. The tuna roll, very clean, very well executed. The soft shell crab, cooked beautiful and crisp. The dish that for me fell a little flat was the papaya salad. I'm looking for a little sweetness in it to make it sing for me. Otherwise, a really great job. You should be very proud of yourself. Thank you, Chef.